some of you are sitting here and you're thinking, but you don't understand my situation. You might even be thinking, you know, I've tried this and I failed. I gave in to temptation. I did it once and again. And, and you go through that cycle where you, where you pray, Lord, give me strength. Help me resist. Please forgive me. And, and you start out really good and you feel strong. And, and then it's only a day or two that goes by and then you, you slip up and you fall again. And, and so you repeat the cycle. You say, Lord, forgive me, help me better. And you do that again. This time you make it two or three days and then you fail again. And you keep doing that over and over. And you get to the point where you say, I'm just about ready to give up. You ask yourself, at what point does God give up on me? At what point does Jesus say, you know what? I've had about enough of this. Oh, you say you're sorry, but you keep making the same mistake. There's a real important question. How does, how does Jesus deal with us when, when we give in to temptation? How does he respond to us in that? Where do we go? Does Jesus ever get tired of us? Again, the writer of Hebrews talks about this in Hebrews chapter 4. He, he reminds us that Jesus, our Savior, was tempted in every way that we were. But he was without sin. Now, one way to look at that is to say, the, you know, the writer saying, Jesus did it, now why can't you? But that's not what the writer is saying. He's saying, understand this. Jesus knows what you're going through. He knows the power of temptation. Jesus himself was tempted in the wilderness for 40 days, but many other times throughout his ministry. He knows what you are experiencing. He knows how powerful that pull of of sin can really be. So he understands your weakness. He understands what you're going through. But because he's resisted and because he was faithful, then you can know one, first of all, you can know that his perfect record has been given to you and nothing can ever change that. But you can also know that Jesus is quick to offer mercy. He's quick to show grace to those who give in, to those who do make the same mistake over and over again. He's a gracious and faithful Savior no matter how many times we fail. You know, Peter says in in his letter to the church, he says, "Your your enemy, the devil, wanders around like a roaring lion, talking about how we're tempted.